All right, so today, October the 3rd, SteelSeries has announced their brand new products. So if you're a fan of my channel or if you're a fan of gaming in general, then you probably know who SteelSeries is already. They make phenomenal products that I personally own myself. From headsets to keyboards to mice to speakers, and that's from the pro players to content creators to everyday gamers. Well, today they announced the first mics truly for gamers. So what did they decide to call it? The Alias. So these are the Alias microphones. So there's two different products here, the Alias and the Alias Pro. So I'll be reviewing the Alias, but I'll mention the Alias Pro as well. So the price of this in America is $179.99. And that's about on par with your typical streaming mic. However, as you'll soon see, this far exceeds all those. Now the Alias Pro is $329.99. So a bit more expensive, but rightfully so because this is an Alias Pro XLR mic, and you also get a stream mixer, so that's for advanced streaming. The one I'm reviewing is just the Alias, super, super easy to use. So before we get into the review, let me tell you what I could do for you here. So I am a SteelSeries partner. They are an incredible company. As such, I do have my own code, which benefits you. Sometimes people will give codes, but they don't really do anything. So my code, first of all, is Tabor time, T-A-B-O-R-T-I-M-E. If you follow me on Fortnite, that's exactly the same as my supporter creator code. So I'll also link the SteelSeries website in a pinned comment, as well as in the description. So what happens if you use my code? You get a whopping 12% discount. No exaggeration, 12% off. And of course, you're helping me at the same time. So what does 12% look like? Let's just say you're looking for a mouse, a headset, and some speakers. So if you purchase the Arena 7 speakers, the Arctis Nova Pro wireless headset, and the Aerox 3 custom mouse, that's $709. And most people would probably pay no attention to the promo code and just check out. Little do they know that they're missing a huge discount. So if you go to add promo code and type in my code, which again is Tabor Time, for this particular order, you get $78 off. Just like that almost a hundred dollars just by putting in my code which is Tabor time how insane is that truly remarkable by steel series to offer that in the first place so let's talk about the alias so here's what the boxing looks like you can see the awesome steel series logo on the front a great display of the alias as well and it does highlight the premium one inch capsule which i'll talk about in just a second as for the packaging though it's pretty standard for steel series looks really sharp so what exactly is the Alias? Well, SteelSeries has a proven track record, like I mentioned earlier, about making the best-in-class personal audio products. And that includes the Arctis and Nova headsets, which I've done reviews on already, as well as the Arena speaker systems. So it only makes sense for the premium brand in-gaming audio to introduce a streaming microphone. And the highlight, it's been purposely built for gamers. So what makes this better than every other mic out there? There's quite a few things. Number one, it's easy as can be. It's just plug and play. You don't need multiple sound mixers and cables, a sound router, or anything else like that. With Alias, all you need is your current setup and a USB-C connection. That's it. Now, in addition, and to pretty much enhance every single SteelSeries product out there, there's a free app that they offer as well called SteelSeries GG. And within that app, there's something called Sonar Audio Software. And I'll talk about that in a minute, but you can do pretty much anything and everything you need to stream and stream efficiently with the Alias microphone. Okay, so first let's take a look at the design itself because this is my personal favorite part, the sleek design aspect about the Alias here. So it's clearly small and compacted, exactly what you want. You don't want it to take up a lot of space on your desk. And of course, if you have a boom arm, it's gonna attach and be flawless. But if you don't have that, and this is actually the way I prefer it, it can sit quite comfortably on your desktop right here. For a proper comparison though, let me show you the old mic I used before I got the alias. This right here, the Blue Yeti. Look at the size comparison right here. This thing is absolutely mammoth. It's bulky as all get out. I mean, this is my hand right here. It takes up the full length. Whereas this one, not even close. So imagine, and this was the issue I had. Sometimes I get flown out for events and I have to record videos. 
So I had to lug this, this massive mic, through the airport, through airport security, on the flight, and then more importantly at the hotel. It was a pain in the butt to lug around, but this one is so compacted and sleek, I just absolutely love it. Now, another favorite part of mine, and it's super, super simple, but again, let me bring back my old mic over here. When we compare it to this guy, the mute button. So as you can see, my mute button broke entirely on here. I don't even know where it is. I can never tell if this is muted or not because the button is broke. You want to know how easy it is to tell if it's muted on the alias? First of all, right here, you can clearly see the mute icon. All you have to do is barely touch it. Watch this. 100% night and day difference. I have no idea. This could be muted right now. I don't even know. That light is always on inside there. Here, I know I'm muted. I can say whatever I want and not be worried at all. Very easy to mute and unmute on the fly. Clearly evident when you're muted. Perfect. So another highlight about this mic is the studio quality audio. And their slogan is bigger equals better. So what does that mean though? In addition to the sleek design that I already mentioned, if we take a look inside the microphone, we can see that the capsule size is three times bigger. And that's the secret, a giant capsule. It's three times bigger than the ones you get in a generic microphone. And that's simple math. Bigger capsule equals better voice. Now, some streaming mics come with a bunch of patterns that you can pick, but ultimately everyone always chooses one single pattern. And that's the cardioid pattern. Or if you don't recognize that term, it's the one that looks like the heart. So luckily with the alias, that's the only pattern. That's the only one you need, and it's the only one to pick. So what exactly does the cardioid pattern do? Basically, it helps to minimize the effect of a bad sounding room. So it makes sense that it's the only option for the alias. So with this pattern, it's the most sensitive from the front of the mic and it's less sensitive from the sides and least sensitive from the back. You're not gonna be behind the mic in an ideal setup. But because of this cardioid pattern, by getting closer to the mic, we can experience a bass boost, which is what we call the proximity effect. So how does it compare to other mics on the market? Like I showed you, I have a Blue Yeti and this far exceeds it. So I did a random test with some of my friends online, mostly people that work with me for my videos. I recorded two clips saying the same thing, one on the Blue Yeti, one on the Alias mic. Now at the time, I wasn't allowed to mention what the mic was called. So I just told them it was a brand new mic. I kid you not, all 10 said the unknown mic was better than the Blue Yeti. And I have to believe it was due to the one condenser capsule that I talked about before. Bigger capsule, better sound. So another great aspect about the Alias mic is the real-time LED monitor lights. So these are incredible. There's five built-in LED lights that provide live feedback to set the perfect level. So obviously green is ideal. That's perfect. Your voice is crisp, clear, loud enough. If you're too loud, it'll go up into the orange category. And if you're way, way loud, you'll see the red. However, with the lights, it's super easy to see when you're in that red zone. So like I mentioned, you can download the SteelSeries GG app to take control of pretty much all your products from SteelSeries. So if you're a streamer, Sonar is where you wanna go. So this is a powerful tool for making your stream and your vocals sound professional with easy to use configuration options for quick results. And this works with stream software using USB audio such as OBS. Now to go in depth about Sonar, it would probably require another separate video. And this is more so suited for the review of the alias, so I'll have to cover that later. I just wanted to give you a brief glimpse of this free app. It's well worth the download and it makes everything exponentially better. The best part, however, for me at least, is definitely the noise reduction. So let me show you some live action display of this. So I'm gonna click record and we're gonna do a test, here we go. Test, test, check, check, one, two, one, two, test, test, test. Okay, now listen, it's gonna come out of the left side, so I'm gonna move over here a little bit. Test, test, check, check, one, two, one, two, test, test, test. Okay, so that was just the default. Now, I'm gonna turn on the fan that I have, full blast. Okay, can you hear that? It's pretty loud. So I'm gonna record again with the fan going. Here we go. Test, test, check, check with the fan going. Test, test, test. So you can see already that it picked up a whole bunch of static. So let's push play. We'll hear the default again, plus the new one. Test, test, check, check, 
one, two, one, two, test, test, test. Test, test, check, check with the fan going, test, test, test. Okay, so you could clearly hear that. And it was so much better with my Arena 7 speakers. I got to get those back plugged in because this speaker on this monitor is terrible. But like I said, I'll play these again from the computer so you can hear everything. So now we're going to go into the SteelSeries GG under Sonar. And we're going to turn on the noise cancelization. Okay. So let's turn our fan back on. Full blast. Go back in here. And we'll record it again. Here we go. Last time. Check, check, one, two with the fan going and the cancellation. Check, check, one, two, test, test. Okay. Now listen to this. Again, default, then fan, then no fan. Test, test, check, check, one, two, one, two, test, test, test. Test, test, check, check with the fan going, test, test, test. Check, check, one, two, with the fan going and the cancellation. Check, check, one, two, test, test. As you could hear, nothing. It completely blocked out the fan 100%. How crazy is that? That's the power of the AI noise cancelization. So let me just play that from my editing program so you can hear it more clearly. Here you go. Test, test, check, check, one, two, one, two, test, test, test. Test, test, check, check, with the fan going, test, test, test. Check, check, one, two, with the fan going, and the cancellation, check, check, one, two, test, test. Now, something else cool about SteelSeries GG is the engine part. So, I showed you a little bit about Sonar, now we're talking about the engine. This shows you all the devices you have hooked up currently. So, you can see the Alias, I've got the Apex Pro TKL, and the QCK Prism Cloth. So, here's the keyboard. Here's the cloth, and obviously, I've got the mic still set up. So you can change the lighting on pretty much everything. So the keyboard has its own where I can go into. So normally, if I had the speakers set up, they would appear on here as well, because you can customize the colorization or the prism on those too. But right now, I just have the cloth as well as the brand new alias. Okay, so I moved the mic up so you can see the actual color scheme here. So if we click on it, it looks like it's already highlighted right there. We've got a lot of presets we can choose from, as well as effects. So lots of customization. Let's just do, let's see, which one should we do? Steel Series Orange? I like that. But that's just a solid color. And I'll turn the lights out in just a second. How about disco mode? We'll go crazy. You can see that kind of strobes. Now if I want to change the top part of the prism cloth, I can do the same thing, or we can choose something else. Let's do disco mode again, though. And then I can also change the bottom. We'll do the same thing, disco. So now everything is that color. So you can see that they're all strobing disco. So if you hold control, you can also select all the things you want at once. So now I've got them all three selected. Let's do, uh, what's self-destruct? That sounds pretty crazy. Okay, so it flashes like an orange red. Interesting, how about Prism. Here, I'll just start clicking some so you can see. Here's Haze. So just a uh, West Coast. Warp Drive. Whoa. So just a lot of cool things. Then you can change the effects too, like I said. And breathe, color shift, single color. Or if you don't want them on, you can simply click off and they'll all go away. So there you go. Brand new Alias microphones. You can get either the normal Alias, which I just showed you, or the Alias Pro. Let me know in the comments if you use my code, which again is Tabor Time for the 12% discount. I would love to hear your feedback on this insanely awesome mic. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my code, which is Tabor Time.